Okay, so today we're actually going to start a new unit. We're going to start with work, power, and energy. So the first thing we have up here is what is work? Well, work is a production of work and distance. That means in order for work to be done, you have to travel a distance in the direction of the force. That means that if I push a car or a cart forward, that cart will move forward, not to the side, to forward. So work is done when the force acts on an object in the direction that the object moves. For instance, if I pick up a book bag, okay, work is done. If that book bag is sitting on my back, you know, like a backpack, and I walk the halls, then work is not being done. It's just going with me. Uh, if I push on a wall, if I push on a wall, and that wall doesn't move, then no work is actually done. It feels like you're doing work, but if the object does not move, then no work is actually done. There is a formula to calculate work. Work is actually force times distance, uh, whereas the force is a newton and a distance is meters. Now, let's backtrack with what a force is. Force, it, remember, is mass, which is in kilograms, times acceleration, which is your meters per second squared. The unit that we calculate or the unit given to work is actually in joules. Okay? So force times distance gives me work. Okay? And so here are some sample problems. So I'm going to help you with two of them. What I want you to do is do the remaining three at your seats and let me see if I can actually see if you actually get them correct. So here we have 750 newtons climbs, a man weighing 750 newtons climbs a flight of stairs five meters high. How much work has he done? So here is a force, 750 newtons. He climbs at five meters. So it's force times distance, 750 times 5. When you calculate that one, the very first one up here is actually, and let's see if we can get the color right here, the, uh, it would actually be 3,750 and on here, it's work, so it's in joules. Joules. Okay? All right. So I'm going to jump down. Let me see. Oh, yes. Let me jump down to number five. We have a mass right here. It's 100 kilograms. We have an acceleration, which is one. And then we have a time, uh, excuse me, a distance, five meters. So remember, we want to find the work. Work is force times distance. Well, I don't have a force. I don't have newtons. But I got a mass and I got an acceleration. So mass times acceleration gives me a force. So 100 times 1 is 100. So that's 100 newtons. And 100 newtons times 5 would be 500 on here. 500 on here joules and that's work okay so 500 joules so it's mass times acceleration which is your force times your distance okay now I need for you to try two three and four at your seats and I'm going to go around and check to see if you have it each of these you've got a force you've got a distance now, number three, you actually have the work and you have a distance. You're asking to solve for force. And on number four, you've got a force, but you also have your work, which is 25 joules, and you have to solve for how far. Okay, try those. All right, now, the next part is power. Power is your rate of doing work. It's how much work is done in a given amount of time. Okay? So to increase your power, you got to increase the amount of work being done in a given amount of time. So you have to produce more work. So here's the formula again. It is power is equal to work divided by time. 
work divided by time. Remember, work is in joules, time is in seconds. The unit for power is an actual watt. So let's look at some of these problems that we have right here. The first one up here, we have 2,000 joules of work is done. We want to know how much power is produced when a motorcycle does 2,000 joules of work in 25 seconds. Okay, so let me get to the pen and I'm going to go to red up here. Remember, it's work divided by time. Work divided by time. 2,000 divided by 25 seconds and you get 80 and you get 80 on here watts and I'm going to put W A T T S okay so it's 80 watts Okay, now let's jump down. Remember, this one again is work divided by time. This one right here, you have your power, you have your time. Look at it on the triangle. Would you multiply or divide? And on this one, you have your power, excuse me, your work for that 400 joules. And you've got your power. They want to know how long in time. Now, when we look at this one, Beth moves 15 Newton book. 20 meters in 10 seconds. Remember work is a force times a distance. Okay, this is D divided by time. So you'd multiply these two together, 15 times 20, and you get 300, and 300 divided by 10 would be 30. So on here the power would be 30 and again watts. It's difficult for me to write it but it would be a watt. 30 watts. Okay? Now what I want you to do is try 2, 3, and 4 at your seats. Walk around. Let me check to make sure you've got it correct. Okay? Alright. So that ends our lesson for today and we will be practicing some math problems. Okay? Thank you.